Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome to the next episode of Supernatural, this is season 2, episode 13. I want to say thank you, because I launched my Patreon yesterday, and I just want to say a really big thank you to the few people that have supported me on there so far. It really does touch me when I get a little notification just saying, you've got a new Patreon, and I don't know, I mean I am not the most confident person, no matter what it comes across like on camera, and just the fact that anybody would want to take the time to watch my stuff, and not even the fact that people want to take the time and the money to watch my stuff it generally does mean the world i got a little bit because my boyfriend was around yesterday as my patreon launched and he was around for the day and as i kept getting patrons in i was like getting a little bit emotional i was like oh these people want to give me their money like just to support me and yeah it was just like a i don't know because you just never know when you launch these things whether you're being too greedy whether you launched it too early but anyway i just want to thank you for the guys that have supported me if you do want to watch the full reaction to this episode and the next two weeks of episodes, there's a link down to my Patreon down below. And I'll do full length reactions to this, 100, and any movies that I watch. And there'll be more stuff coming, hopefully, in the future. Last episode of Supernatural was Night Shifter. And that was really good. That was emotional, in the sense that, obviously, there was this guy who went to the bank with a gun because he was convinced there were some sort of cyborg, what they call mandroids, in his, in his head. I think they were called mandroids. And it was kind of sad because... He was writing that something was wrong, but he was just completely off the mark in what it was and ended up getting killed for it. But like I said last time, when he went to the gut bank with a gun, it was kind of inevitable that something bad was going to happen to him. So that was kind of sad. But overall, the episode was good because it was kind of like a who, like a who done it in the sense of who's the monster, who's the shapeshifter, is it this person, is it this person, is it this person, and Sam and Dean are now in even more trouble because obviously they. In obviously part of the bank robbery for one and also knocked out or trapped some agents and took their clothes to get out so i don't know whether it's gonna to be touching in this episode i don't know why i'm doing a lot of hand movements today but um yeah they're in deep doggy doo doo <laughs> this episode is called the houses of the holy i can only presume it's a religious themed episode people get killed in churches synagogues something like that um that's all i can think is it's going to be something based on religion the last religious episode really was faith um that was really good though that surprised me with how it handled religious aspects of things and i'm intrigued to see what this one does so let's jump into the episode if you enjoy it please subscribe to my channel down below uh, up above wherever the subscribe button appears i can't even remember it now <laughs> leave some comments to let me know what you thought and if you want to see the follow-up reaction there's a patreon link down below now I know it's hard. It's hard to look up and look down. It's hard to look up and see the light. But I'm here to tell you folks, the Lord is with you. She looks really familiar, but she's just got one of those faces. All you gotta do is listen. Can't you just hear those angels singing? Isn't it beautiful? It's time. What's going it's on here? Oh, okay. I really have no idea what's going on. Hello. This is like something from X Files. Guess just maybe she thinks it's an angel. Good morning. You're not the usual guy. No. Oh. No. Ah. Oh. It looks jet. Going in. <laughs> so how are you feeling today, Gloria? As someone who spent a lot of time in hospitals. Never felt better. Fantasy. <laughs> so, no disturbances lately? You mean am I stark raving cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? I didn't say that. It was all over the news. I stabbed a man in the heart. Oh. Why would you do that? Because it was God's will. Did God talk to you? <laughs> I get the sense God's a little busy for house calls. No, he... He sent someone. Some An angel. An angel. You thought so. Like, I'm aware that Beautiful, angels are a part of the show at some point in the future. I'm, I'm debating whether this is a real one or not. But what I did was very important. I helped him smite an evil man. Mm. I was chosen for redemption. Oh. <laughs> that one of those magic fingers things. We don't have those in the UK, and I've always wanted to try one. <laughs> so, did you get in to see that crazy hooker? Yeah. Oh. Gloria Sitnik, and I'm not so sure she's crazy. Don't call her a hooker. Sex worker, please, Dean. Touched by an angel. Yeah. 
blinding light, feelings of spiritual ecstasy, the works. I mean, she's living in a locked ward, and she's totally at peace. Mm. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sounds completely sane. She's the second in town to murder because an angel told them to. A little bit odd, don't you think? Uh, odd, yes. Supernatural, maybe. But angels, I don't think so. Why not? Because there's no such thing, Sam. <laughs> okay. Dean, not for a fight, that's not there's true. ten times as much lore about angels as there is about anything else we've ever hunted. Hey, you know what? There's a ton of lore on unicorns, too. In fact, I hear that they, they ride on silver moonbeams and they shoot rainbows out of their ass. <laughs> Wait, there's no such thing as unicorns? It's cute. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. This is proof, again, why John isn't the great hunter that everyone says. Or the great... We just, I'm going stir-crazy, man. Everyone I'm says that he taught the, the kids huh? so well and so great, but there. it's another example Nothing. of no sulfur, something no that John didn't teach them was real, yeah, or fluffy, white how, like, when Meg was possessed, Bobby was like, we can tell that someone was possessed by a demon. The They're like, well, <laughs> it's another example of what John did not teach them. So was he as good as everyone says? I don't think so. It's a fingernail. Ugh, someone would be, like, scratching. Oh, that was supposed to be sick. Do you like, you see it, people, like, in coffins and stuff, where the nails come off because they're scratching so hard. <laughs> So much for the innocent church-going librarian. Yeah, well, whatever spoke Oh, okay, about so she killed him because he was a murderer. Huh? Is he going to be visited by an angel? I believe so. So I wonder... I am intrigued to know if this is a real angel or not. At the moment, I would guess it's not, just because it's supernatural. <laughs> um, but knowing that angels do to come into it in the future, it's a possibility. I like mean, when I pass a shop with like food in the window, I'm like, yeah, we're going in here. <laughs> Can I help you? Oh. I meant kill Zach, not him. Poor guy. Well, I say poor guy, however, it's possibly going to turn out that he's evil as well, or killed someone. So I shouldn't say poor guy. Bad Scott. I'm not enabling your sick habit. <laughs> You're like one of those lab rats that pushes the pleasure button instead of the food button until it dies. About Dean it. likes a bit of pleasure. Yeah, What's all wrong with that? Me too. All right, Sam could do with some pleasure. Three students have disappeared off the college campus this year. All of them were last seen at the library. I'm intrigued to know what this is, what's causing it, why they're doing this. Because it seems to be killing bad people, but getting innocent people to do it. I uh, all these emails, dozens, to this Jennifer. lady named Jennifer. <sighs> Lady who's 13 years old. Oh, I don't want to hear this. Looks like they met in the chat room. These emails are pretty personal, Dean. Uh, well, now that he's dead, like I say, in some ways, this huh. angel is doing a good thing. I guess if you're gonna stab Getting rid of, like, a pedophile and someone who murdered someone. I don't know, Great. This is weird, you know. But why it's choosing sure to get. Spirits are out for vengeance, but this one's almost like a do gooder, you know? Like, yeah. Uh, Getting the. Um, these are the people to kill for it. I don't know. See, Carl Gully was a churchgoer, right? Yeah? What was the name of his church? Oh. Uh. Our Lady of the Angels? They all go to the same church. Of course, that'd be the name. So you don't believe in those angel yarns, huh? Oh, no, I absolutely believe. Kind of goes with the job description. Hmm. <laughs> Father, that's Michael, right? That's right. The Archangel Michael. I. The school I went to was St. Michael's. Force against evil. St. Michael's Church of so England. Not really the hallmark card I'm not a religious person things. myself, but... Oh, that's for Father Gregory. He was a priest here. Was? He passed away right on these steps. He's interred in the church crypt. When did this happen? Two months ago. He was shot for his car keys. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, me too. So is he, he the spirit? It. It's, uh, I didn't even have time to administer his last... Killing people? Days. Father Reynolds started praying for God's help about two months ago, right? Right about the time all this started happening? Oh, come on, man. What's your deal? What do you mean? Look, I'll admit I'm a bit of a skeptic, but since when are you all Mr. Uh, 700 Club? <laughs> well, seriously, from the get-go, you've been willing to buy this angel crap, man. I mean, what, what's next? You gonna start praying every day? I never noticed before that Jensen has those lines on his nose there. Right? <laughs> no, I can't just not stare at them. I do pray every day. I have for a long time. Oh. You'd think he would know huh. that. They spend all day every day oh, together. Unless, like, Sam does it in, like, the bathroom, maybe. You'd think you'd know if he was, like, a religious person. 
believe that. Alright, this isn't Doctor Who. Chill out. Statue. Is he going to be visited by an angel? What? Oh, what's happening? Because if he was visited by an angel, surely he should be off to kill someone. Dean, I saw an angel. Dean, knock him out. Knock him out right now in case he tries to kill someone. Drink. You just gotta wait for some divine bat signal, is that it? Yeah, actually. Great. What if it's Dean? I don't suppose you asked what this alleged bad guy did. Actually, I did, Dean. And the angel told me. He hasn't done anything. Oh. Yet. Uh, well. But he will. Well, that's not good. We're oh, back into uh, Gordon this. territory Dean, now. The angel hasn't been wrong yet. Is the angel gone? Someone's gonna do something <laughs> awful, and I can stop him. You know, you're supposed to be bad too, Sam. Maybe, maybe I should just stop you right now. You know what, Dean? I don't understand. Awkward. Father Gregory's spirit is around. The seance will bring him right to us. If it's him, true. Then we'll put him to rest. But if it's an angel, it won't show. Nothing will happen. Exactly. Mm. It's one of the perks of the job, Sam. We don't. I don't know how I feel about this episode. It just feels well, like. You know for sure. I don't know. I was really enjoying it, but this part's making me feel a little uncomfortable, and I don't know right. why. Admit... That's it. What? That's a sign. Uh oh. Where? Dean, knock Sam out right now. This guy might turn out to be horrendous, but go. you're gonna go kill somebody because a ghost told you to. You insane. Dean, <laughs> unlock my door. No. You're not killing anyone, Sam. Papu knows. Chirikita. Chirikita, you and I know. Mm. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. What is this? Uh, Just wait a second. Uh oh, it worked. <laughs> No, it's Father Gregory, is it? Father Gregory. Yep. Thomas, mm -hmm. I've come in answer to your prayers. Uh, so at least they've proven now that it wasn't an angel angel, it was the spirit of Father Gregory. But then what's this guy going to do? Those murders. That was because of you. I received the word of God. He spoke to me, told me to smite the wicked. I'm carrying out his will. You're driving innocent people to kill. Those innocent people are being offered redemption. <sighs> but murder's not right in the... Some people need redemption. Bible. No. No. This is vengeance. It's it feels wrong. wrong. Yeah. Thomas, this goes against everything you believe. You are not an angel, Thomas. Men cannot be angels. Oh, okay. We should go, or we're gonna be late. Ah! Whoa, bitch. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just I've never done this before. Oh, get out of that car. Look, I said I was sorry. Please. Come on, Dean. Dean. Come on, Dean. Kill this bastard. So that probably now was like, I wish I had killed him. But obviously, that isn't right. Even if he, the body's a better place without this horrible person in it. Oh, I was scared. Father Reynolds? Rest. I don't make me feel a little bit emotional. I don't know why. Because like he, he thought he was doing the right thing as a man of God. Oh, blimey. Oh, shit. I mean, I don't feel sorry for the guy, but... <laughs> our very final destination. But is that not also that thing where he actually died, like Sam was tasked to do, and through some weird turn of events, it came out, and it happened as, expect as asked. Of him? Uh, I don't know. I know what I mean in my head. <laughs> I wanted to believe. 
so badly. I... It's so damn hard to do this. And I needed to think that there was something else watching too, you know? But it doesn't mean there's no high power watching. Good. Just because this one wasn't. The way he died, if I hadn't seen it with my own two eyes, I never would have believed it. I don't know what to call it. Maybe God's will. Interesting. Okay, so that was season two, episode 13, Houses of the Holy. It was really interesting that it really kind of looked at the belief systems of Sam and Dean and how different they are, but how they're both tested through the course of the episode. So the actual storyline itself, I kind of figured it wasn't going to be an angel. And even though I am aware that angels do come into it at some point, and it, not just angels, but like when I did a reaction to, I think it was Brother, Jed's Knackle singing Brother, someone said, this actor plays God in the comments. I'm like, so I know God's in it at some point. <laughs> um, so assumably with God in it, angels are in it, the whole, all belief, all religious belief of, of that, the, the Bible and stuff, I presume all that stuff was real and it happened in this world and all the characters are going to be in it at some point, maybe. But I don't know like in what context, what season. Yeah. So when it started talking about angels, I was like, okay, maybe it is an angel. But just the way it was getting people to kill other people, I didn't believe that it was an angel. I figured it was probably going to be like someone that, in the form of an angel or just a demon that like took that kind of uh, religious people and said they're an angel and tried to get people to kill all that kind of guys because some people are very susceptible to that kind of stuff some people are not and so I wasn't surprised that it would turn out to be Father Gregory I'm glad it turned out to be Father Gregory because I don't know if that was going to be angels I'm not sure how I feel about that as my first episode about them I figure that they should have a bit more because like I say I, from even though I went to a Church of England school I'm not religious I do know bits about the Bible and angels were like warriors and to have them be this thing that made someone turn evil and kill someone evil's a, not the right term I know but didn't feel right from what I know about religion and obviously the, the show can interpret angels religion God Jesus whatever in the way it wants to it can do its own interpretation on it it doesn't need to be that they're all good people as well angels aren't necessarily good i mean isn't satan an angel um lucifer um <laughs> but I, I know what i mean in my head i just have to say it but i'm glad that it wasn't an angel but it was interesting that it looked at both sam and dean's different belief systems so looking at sam he is obviously a believer he said that he prays every day and that dean didn't know about that and he prays that they can help him not be evil because of what Yellow Eyes has said. And he believed that what this thing was could have been an angel. And I think he kind of really was wanting to believe it more than believing it until the point where the angel appeared to him. And then I felt like he fully believed that what it was was an angel and wanted to follow its will and stop that guy. I mean, rightly or wrongly, it turned out that whatever Father Gregory was telling these people was right. There was at least... There was one murderer that we saw, um, a paedophile, and a, a rapist. And obviously there was someone before, I think, as well, that we didn't see. Um, so, whilst I don't agree with what Father Gregory was doing, in some ways what he was doing was a good thing. It just wasn't good that he was getting innocent people to kill, you know? So I felt kind of bad for some at the end, that he was like, I wanted to believe, like, I wanted to believe it was real... And I don't want to believe in angels and all the stuff to help me. But just because this one wasn't an angel doesn't mean that there's not angels out there. There's not this higher power, this higher spirit. See, I know from comments and other things that there is a higher power out there. There is angels and stuff. But I felt sort of sad for Sam that because this one wasn't, that he kind of went back on his whole belief system. Because that's got to be a really hard thing to to accept that what you believe is not real. So that was really sad for Sam. And in terms of Dean, he's not someone that admitted that he believed, he said he didn't believe, he doesn't pray, he's very anti, they're not real, anti, they're not real, no, he's very pro, that they're not real, and anti kind of religion, and that kind of stuff, anti-religion is not the phrase I mean, but he's just not a religious person, and, and it's interesting that what happened at the end of the episode is kind of shaking his belief system a little bit, and he's now maybe accepting a little bit, because of the way that that guy died, was very final destination in my eyes, and that, like a whole coincidences have to happen for that guy to me around that truck and that truck to swerve and the pipes to go off it to slam through the window and um, puncture him impale him on that pipe and it was so unique and so 
much of a coincidence that Dean had to sort of kind of accept that maybe this was God's work, maybe this was meant to happen. And like I said, they did sign, put things in, it did kind of put things into perspective that whilst Father Gregory, I don't like how he went about killing people, he was in some ways doing a good thing by getting rid of these people off the planet, the earth. Murdering them might not be right in terms of the Lord, as the Lord, the Bible, but is the world a better place without them in it? Yeah, I think so. Like, if we could just wipe out like that, all the murderers, the paedophiles, rapists, the world would be such a better place for it. But is that right, doing it that way? I don't know. It's a moral debate that everyone's got a different opinion on. Like people have different opinions on say that death penalty and should we kill someone for being a murderer? But it is an interesting thing to talk about and whilst I didn't think this episode was that exciting, it had some interesting moral things to think about. Both main religious episodes so far, this and faith, have given me a lot to think about, which surprises me because I'm not a religious person. It's not something that I spend a lot of time thinking about. Um, for those that care, I'd like to be religious. I just don't believe without proof. Um, if I saw proof, then I would believe. I know it's a really complicated system to have, but it's. I would love to believe that there's more to this world. I just haven't seen anything to me that has given me any proof that we're anything more than what we are. But that's, that's my belief system. Let me know down below what you think of the episode and your thoughts on Father Gregory's kind of actions. Obviously, it wasn't right to kill people, but if he's killing people that are really evil, does that change things? I would argue that maybe it does, but... Everyone's got a different opinion. Let me know down below what you thought of the comments. Uh, no. <laughs> let, me know down, let me know down below what you thought of the episode and the reaction and if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, my name is Scott. I hope you guys are well. Taking care of yourselves and staying safe. And having a great start to 2021. If you're watching on Patreon, this will be the first Supernatural episode of 2021. If you're watching on YouTube, it will be the third Supernatural episode of 2021. Either way, hope you're having a good start to 2021. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you all next week for the next episode of Supernatural. Bye, guys.